Open your eyes and tell me what you see. Kitumba is a slum, northeastern part of Nairobi County, Kasarandi constituency, uh, surrounded with other slums like Dandora, Amwik. It's a land that the government gave it to the poor who are taken from Korokocho. My passion for the ministry started from there. You could meet single women uh, who are brewing alcohol, you could meet children who are living with single mothers, children who are orphaned, you know, living with the guardians. We realized that whenever they were so happy in the church, these children were passing through difficult times when they are back home. The HIV thing in the Islam also was a concern. The careless life, the prostitution, as a way of making money. It was like they don't mind about HIV. This was leaving the children to be orphaned over and over again. The children could go to, some go to streets to become street boys. Some get in um, premature marriages and all these sort of things were taking place. So my passion grew. Finally, we were able to find a solution. My wife accepted that we can bring three children in our house. One was nine years, the other one was eight years, the other one was seven years. Yeah, they're coming to stay with our daughter who is four months old. We are so green, you don't have any experience. You know, and here we are bringing the three children to stay with us in our house. We were connected with Pastor George and his wife Jackie and soon realized they had their own home where they welcomed children into their own family both as a husband and a wife and a father and a mother to incorporate a really wonderful, more biblical model of parenthood and family for these children. One of the things that we really wanted is to make sure that we don't just set a home, but we set a, a family, a place where children, they can see me as a fatherly figure, they see my wife as a motherly figure, so that as they grow up, they will not have missed that part of a father in their lives and a mother in their lives. They do everything just to train them. They even wash clothes, they spread their beds. We are constructing this place bit by bit and we want to build this first floor so that it will be able to give us a capacity of bringing other more children. Here we want to put a dining hall because the one they're using down there, it's supposed to be a dome. Our plan in the next five years is to finish the upstairs rooms and buy two more lands. We we'll build a house for rental to make money to run the home so that we're uh, looking at, at a time that the home will sustain itself. We also were introduced to the Uzumatelli School, and at that time it was just one room building. But as a result of years of partnering with donors in the United States and Europe, the, the school has expanded. The buildings have been constructed to, to include six rooms and uh, additional children that started out at 30 when we started and now it's 152. My name is Ruth Amber and I have eight years old and my school is in the Terra Educational Center. I am in class two. I live in Kitwamba. I have father and mother, and I have two sisters and three brothers. When I am school, I learn math, English, social studies, science, and CRI, and I eat good food. I enjoy to come to school when I am clean. Purova, I come to school when it is clean and shirt and shoes and socks. I know how to talk in English and I know how, how to read. When I finish school, I will have phone, house, a good house and television and toilet. Our vision in the next uh, five years is to have uh, more classes up to class eight. We need to hire more teachers, uh, officers, need uh, library, stationery, books, 
furniture, in electricity, more water point. We need better ground uh, so that the children will have a place to play. Mostly, one of the greatest things here is that we need security defense so that uh, children will be secure. Another exciting development that we've seen happen over the years is that there was a feeding program. And when it was first started, it was a few days of a pudding, of a porridge, a pudding-like substance that the children would get at lunch. I could even sacrifice food because I remember my wife and I introducing feeding children who were having a class inside the, the church. It was not enough, but it was simple. And then it increased to five days a week, and now each child in the school receives a hot, nutritious meal every lunchtime. This might be the only meal that a child receives. So it's very important that the school is providing a, a nutritious meal for these children. And as a result, many of the families, the single mothers in the Skitawamba slums area, are sending their children to school. Jina naitwa Kezia Obwana, mimi ni widow na ni kuna watoto wanne. The father died when the firstborn was in class 4 and the youngest was in the unit. And all that time I've been just struggling with them. We normally take 14 widows each to recruitment. So we are through with the first recruitment. This is the second one. Okay, we just try to empower them trying to give them skills that will help them in their future. And they also provide a widow sewing program that I'm also very passionate about. And that resulted from a walk down into the slums with Pastor George and my daughter Anna and saw the need for young women to develop skills to be able to make a way for themselves. We need to begin by training them how to, to use the machine, how to do the threading, how to cut the clothes. After empowerment, we were planning to help them set up a business. When I finished Osinatele, I am really looking forward to start uh, many of my own business. Our plan for the next five years is to employ more people, teach them, establish an empowerment center where we don't have to pay rent, and also warehouse where we also have shops, markets, the things they've made. One of the things that has been very popular are skirts made by the women in the bright African fabrics. And there's also a certain fabric called the conga. Other items that have been popular are bags made out of African fabrics, iPad covers. Not only are Pastor George and his wife Jackie and his team developing the Gitawamba community, but they're also having an impact globally. Me as Jackie, as a woman, what I normally say is that when you empower a woman, the whole house and the whole community and the whole nation is empowered. So as much as we have done this, we have never felt like we are tired, that we are overwhelmed. No.